She doesn't know us from no, right. You know, she's just like, these are these crazy Christian people, you know? <laughs> and we're just like, Jennifer, Jesus loves you. You're amazing. Oh my goodness. Happy birthday. And we all break out into this huge obnoxious song in the restaurant. Um, and it was just awesome. And it really was. It was just a love bomb. That's all it was. Yeah. But I'll tell you, man, her, her heart was just so overwhelmed that she was just wrecked. And it, and it was just something simple. I mean, when you all dig in your pockets and it's 20 bucks, 10 bucks, 7 bucks, and it adds up, it doesn't matter. That, that little bit of seed, it's like everyone was so excited. It's like, yay, I get to give $20 at seed oh. into this girl's life. And I... And I don't know, I just know it's, it's going to be amazing. Like, she was touched by God yesterday. He was, he was. And I know, I have eight sons, and I know if I would have lost my son, I can only imagine how long, you know what I mean? Like, my heart would be broken. And that was just six months ago, and he was 18, killed in a car accident. So Jesus just used us, us, you know, I mean, I don't want to say nobodies. I'm just saying that in the context that, you know, no one really knows us except you know the main the main one knows us but wow. we impacted her life in an incredible way jesus did and it's such an honor to be a part of that so, beautiful amen oh, thanks for letting me show you Thank you. yay oh are you kidding that's just beautiful now look how timely do i need to do something here where i mess something up somebody went okay i didn't know if it would reverb <laughs> How timely this testimony is and right where I was talking about as a man thinketh so he is. So when somebody has a situation like that who sees it's real. But there's a perspective to wrap around it that's found in truth that changes things. So when somebody see as she thinks she's an orphan. So the story of her life with all the passing and all the significant people in her life. Who sees that that binds you and robs you and identifies you for your whole life unless you find another truth. So she could be 50 years old and still living in the same mentality and feel a certain way that she did when she was whatever age when that all happened without an answer. You lose your son who knows that's super real and you can hardly relate how do you go through that unless you have an eternal view and you look at a picture bigger than now and how it feels. So there's still grieving, there's still physical loss. Nobody's super spiritualizing this to saying there's no physical loss. That would be crazy. There's always a physical loss, but we don't grieve as those who have no hope. Do you know how many people have lost a child and they lost hope because they had identity in that child, they had love for that child, they lost that child. So when death is a finality for people that don't have hope, for people that don't have truth, that don't see Jesus. Do you get what I'm saying? So when you bump into, so you make contact and you say, hey, is there anything I can pray for you? And she says, oh, how did you know? And then she pours out her heart and look what else comes out of it. The way she's thinking, the way she's identified, the stumbling blocks of her own life where she's identifying herself through herself and through her story and all of a sudden you can give her a higher answer. You can give her a new option and a new way to think and view and actually introduce her to truth himself. Are you following what I'm saying? Just phenomenal. And I commend you guys on that whole offering thing and birthday gift because it's one thing to seem like flaky Christians and hey, and we're singing loud and we just love you, Jesus loves you. But when you have fruit attached to it and you hand her a gift and you don't even know her and you're going to walk away and maybe never see her again and you give her a significant to her, I'm sure, a significant amount of money for not even knowing her and just walk away, bless you. Who knows that seals the deal that love is real, this is real, this is pure, and we believe you're worth it because he paid a price on the cross. You get it? To Jesus, would you lift your hands with me to Jesus? Father, we receive grace. We just lift our hands to you as a sign of yielding, of openness, and of yes. I'm just assuming the whole room is saying yes. We want you more. We want you more and more and more in us and through us. Let this thing be simple. Let it abound in grace. Let no one strive. Let us just see that we're accepted in the beloved. And even if we were like them disciples doing nothing right, you called us brethren. You breathed life into us and the commission hasn't changed. You said, as you go, go preach, saying the kingdom of God is here. Let our lives reveal it. Let people see you and know you because you've changed us for your glory. In Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. Amen.